Hello, my friend. You know, October is a very special time. No one around the world for a time of the harvest. I pray that it is a harvest spiritually for you. And I ask you to take a few minutes with me now in meditation. I ask you to close your eyes and join me in prayer. Let us pray. In Galatians 5, 22 and 23, it says, But the fruit of the Spirit is gentleness. How wonderful to know that the gentle Spirit of God is with us now. You now enter into a special house, a house not made with hands. You enter into a special house made with thoughts and with words. This special house is your eternal inheritance. By intuition, you become guided to the shining light of a stage inside of you that is well, happy, strong, and noble. The mind of your human mind opens. Your true self that philosophers have long said could be free inside of you shows itself in all its glory with purified wisdom, strength, and holiness. You are about to see the glory of the good. You are about to lay hold of the good with great words of welcome. And as you tune in to this special consciousness, there is a fusion of your human mind and divine mind. Something is stirring inside of you. There is a welding, a binding together of your human mind and divine mind. There is a true fusion taking place. Rest now in the silence of prayer and allow this to take place in you right now. Inside of your mind, you are able to see things on the great stage of the divine. You are able to say clearly with your mouth and your tongue truth as it comes into your mind. The words are going to take on added power. Your words are going to take on divine power. In the Bible it states, Take with you words and return unto Jehovah. There is a shining forth inside of you of truth, a silent, still voice that speaks loudly in the inner recesses of your mind, empowers you now with all power of the divine. You have an inner knowing that God is with you in this moment. You are attending a welcome by God into a new state of awareness, a new way of thinking, a new way of speaking. You enter into new life gladly and freely. With total consent of your human self, you are walking across the threshold and through the doorway to this new life. There is a shining God-given power that comes forth from you. There is a light that is beaming across your world. 
The light is a vibratory power of your spoken word. There is a new power behind your voice. There is a new power empowering you. You know the truth. You speak the truth. Only steady, shining truth will accomplish all that you wish to accomplish. And it is now coming forth as a harvest. You agree this moment not to divide your mind with doubt. You agree this moment not to divide your thought with sense. You agree at this moment to be stable in all ways of thinking and speaking. You make this commitment now, in this moment of the silence of prayer. Dear God, through the power of Jesus Christ, I dedicate my mouth, my tongue, and my vocal cords to a higher standard of life in me and through me. And in all the situations of my life, my voice and the vibratory power coming forth from it will henceforth be dedicated to the glory of God. Every word that I utter will be for truth and for God. This October, this time of the harvest, and in the joy of doing this, I say in Jesus Christ's name, Amen and Amen.